But first tonight, those messages of hate stuffed in bags and left in Ann Arbor neighborhoods. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. The anti-Semitic flyers were dropped off on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, and the beginning of the Jewish High Holy Days. As we have reported, anti-Semitic incidents have been on the rise in recent years in our state. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is in one of the neighborhoods targeted by people trying to spread hate. The anti-Semitic flyers were found early Sunday morning. They had been stuffed into plastic baggies and tossed into people's driveways in a number of neighborhoods here in Ann Arbor. I was almost speechless. Um, I can't imagine seeing it just cold in my driveway. People living in several neighborhoods not far from downtown Ann Arbor were disappointed and even disgusted to find that small plastic baggies containing these papers had been tossed onto so many driveways. Anti-Semitic propaganda written on both sides of several pages. Concerned for his family's safety, we spoke to one man who did not want to be identified. He found a bag of the papers on his driveway. I think it's disgusting and it's unfortunate, but uh... I'm kind of, I don't want to say that you get used to this kind of language, but it's, it's unfortunately part of the world we live in. I, I don't like to see it in my neighborhood, but I also, uh, I won't be moved by it. One page reads that America did not break free from a small country across the sea just to be controlled by another small country across the sea years later. Other messages are so hateful and inflammatory we can't even show you. It appears a group known as the GDL is behind it. And according to the Anti-Defamation League, the GDL is responsible for at least 74 anti-Semitic propaganda incidents last year. And they've continued what's referred to as as propaganda drives in 2022 across 17 states and it seems Michigan is now on that list. He was horrified. This man says a friend in a nearby neighborhood notified him of the flyers and he can only presume the thinking of those who created them. How scared they are of everything. That's pretty much it. And Let's add some ignorance in there. Ann Arbor police say they received some calls about the flyers and at least right now they have not identified anything criminal. It is just horrific to bring such a hateful message into any community. I wouldn't want it for any community. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Kim.